Manchester City is running away with the league. The question is, what do Manchester United need to do to catch them up? Well, they already have some quality players in Pogba, De Gea, Lukaku, Rashford, but they're being held back by some players that are surplus to requirements. So, here are the players that they need to sell to reach the top. Matteo Damian, the Italian fullback, would be better off playing his football elsewhere. He's gone from a first team regular under Louis Vajal to a third choice fullback. The fact that Mourinho chose to play Victor Lindelof at right back when first choice right back Tonio Valencia was injured recently shows how far away from the first team Damian is. The 28 year old who cost United 12.7 million when he arrived from Torino in 2015 is only featured four times for United in the Premier League. However, he's featured regularly in domestic cup competitions, but is that really enough? Damien's versatility is useful, however, he often looks uneasy in the United's back line. He doesn't get up and down the wing like most modern day fullbacks, and he lacks pace. What is the Premiership these days? Pure pace, and that's a necessity, especially when Manchester United's rivals have the likes of Bellerin, Walker, and Rose at their disposal. So, it's time to let Damien go. Sergio Romero, every team needs a good number two goalkeeper. Most United fans would be sad to see Sergio leave. He's performed in his role as number two impeccably. He knew he wouldn't be the first choice when he arrived, but he's never moaned, he's never performed badly, and he's kept De Gea on his toes. He's even a key member of the United team that won the Europa League. He's probably going to be a number one at many other clubs, and that's probably the reason why they should let him go. It's a case where United are basically just holding his career hostage. He should be able to leave and find himself a club that can put him as number one, especially when he's currently the number one for Argentina. So with a World Cup coming up, it's time to give him a chance to flourish and give his career a start once again. Sometimes it's not the quality of the player, but whether they fit the manager's system. Example, Daly Blind is quality, the classy Dutch defender can play in the middle of defence or left back or can even cover in midfield. He's come the ball, he's a great passer, he pops up with the odd goal or two. However, He's become a fringe player under Mourinho this season and has been restricted to just a few minutes of Premier League football since the start of the season. Despite making 139 appearances for the club since joining in 2015, the arrival of Matic and the resurgence of Ashley Young has left Blind firmly out of the picture. Add to this the signing of Lindelof this summer and that puts Blind behind Smalling, Jones, Bailey, Rojo and obviously Lindelof as well. United should cash in and blend because they will have no shortage of buyers for the quality Dutchman. Herrera's fortune this season is a bit of a strange one. One of the United's best performers for the past couple of seasons, the diminutive Spanish midfielder finds himself in a difficult position currently. Despite building a bit of a fan favourite reputation thanks to his no-nonsense approach to matches, Matic's arrival in the summer has meant his first team opportunities have become restricted this season. Despite appearing 17 times for United in Premier League, his performances haven't quite been up to the standard of the past couple of seasons. Whether this this just a patch of bad form or a loss of confidence, it's unclear, but it's unlikely that he will be Jose's starting 11 when everyone is fully fit in the squad. He also recently won his first few caps for Spain, and if he wants to break into the squad on a more regular basis, it's time for him to go and Man U to get that money and spend it somewhere else. So that's our list of players that Manchester United need to get rid of if they want to start challenging Manchester City again for that place at the top of the Premier League. Let us know your thoughts, which players you think should stay, which players you think need to go. I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.